The Pacific Northwest is full of mysteries, from Bigfoot to ghost stories and, of course, the disappearance of D.B. Cooper. Another mystery buried deep in the hills of eastern Washington keeps resurfacing, a bottomless pit said to be a pathway to the paranormal. Government has an extreme interest in it and has something to do with extraterrestrials. Hidden within Mel Waters' property on Monastosh Ridge, just west of Ellensburg, lies an extraordinary depth that seems to consume everything thrown into it. From old junk to discarded household items, this hole never appears to reach its limit. But there's more to it than just being a dump site. Animals steer clear of it, and strange radio signals echo from its depths, adding to its mystery. In 2017, a courageous team took a daring step by lowering a camera into this mysterious void, hoping to uncover its secrets. What they discovered stunned the world, unveiling a truth beyond imagination. What secrets lie hidden within its depths? Join us on a journey to unravel the secret of Mel's Hole and uncover the startling truths that lie within its murky boundary, the terrifying depths of Mel's Hole. Mel's Hole is an extraordinary, circular depth with a diameter of precisely 9 feet and 9 inches. Encircled by a huge stone barrier, it dips about 15 feet before vanishing into an emptiness of impenetrable darkness. The curiosity surrounding this mysterious void heightened when Mel and his wife began depositing items into it, only to discover they weren't the first to do so. Their neighbors had been using the hole as a dumping ground for their refuse for some time. Oddly, despite the regular dumping, there was an odd absence of sound when objects were dropped into the pit. No echoes reverberate back, suggesting an unsettling depth without end. Mel Waters, captivated by the mystery of the hole, felt an increasing determination to uncover its secrets. His foremost objective was to determine if there was indeed a bottom to the seemingly bottomless pit. Yet the burning question on everyone's mind was just how deep this hole truly went. But the real interest lay in what lay hidden within the depths of Mel's hole, a mystery that would soon captivate the entire world. Mel was an avid fisherman, deeply passionate about his craft. His collection of fishing gear included numerous spools of fishing line, proof of his dedication to the sport. Eager to explore the depths of a mysterious hole, Mel devised a plan. He would lower an object into the hole to gauge its depth. With a one-pound weight securely attached to his fishing line, he began the descent filled with anticipation. To his surprise, the line continued to unwind, reaching an extraordinary depth of 4,500 feet, the entire length of his reel. Yet despite this impressive feat, the bottom of the hole remained elusive, leaving Mel confused. Undiscouraged by this setback, Mel retrieved the weight, only to find it dry upon resurfacing, indicating that it had not touched any water during its descent. Determined to uncover the secrets hidden below, Mel decided to replace the weight with a roll of lifesavers on his next attempt. Hoping to encounter water at the depths below, Mel once again lowered the line, his curiosity driving him forward. However, upon retrieval, the lifesavers too were dry, leaving Mel with more questions than answers. Refusing to surrender to defeat, Mel returned to the drawing board, determined to devise a new strategy to delve deeper into the mysterious hole and unlock its mysteries. So he kept adding one spool of fishing line after another to reach further down into the depths. Yet even when he had let outlines up to 10,000 feet deep, there was still no sign of reaching the bottom. But he refused to give up. His determination drove him to continue, eager to uncover the mystery of whether the hole had a bottom at all. After numerous attempts, he had stretched out lines spanning approximately 80,000 feet, equivalent to over 15 miles in length. Despite this huge effort, his quest for answers remained unanswered as the untouchable bottom of the hole continued to avoid him. His pursuit turned out to be entirely in vain. The bottom of the hole remained a mystery, out of reach and beyond discovery. While searching for answers, Mel stumbled upon an interesting revelation. The unearthly, forbidden secret. Every time he approached the mysterious hole in his quest for its depths, he noticed his dogs avoiding it entirely. Not only that, but they avoided his attempts to bring them closer as if they sensed a mysterious energy casting from within. What interested Mel even more was the absence of any signs of life surrounding the hole, apart from a few birds fluttering nearby. 
No insects were flying around, no critters running about, just a strange stillness. This unusual event piqued Mel's interest, prompting him to seek the knowledge of his neighbors. To his surprise, they confirmed that their dogs displayed similar behavior around the hole. It appeared that all the dogs shared a common sentiment. There was something mysterious and unsettling about that hole. The tales became scarier as time passed. It seemed like the mysterious hole became even more mysterious as Mel delved deeper into it. But just how mysterious could it truly be? As Mel and his neighbors delved into discussions about the hole and the strange behaviors of their pets, one neighbor shared a particularly spine-chilling story. This neighbor recounted an unsettling incident involving his recently deceased dog. Instead of opting for a traditional burial, he decided to bid farewell to his faithful companion by placing its body in the enigmatic hole. At the time, he didn't think much of it, as they were conditioned to dispose of things in that manner. However, a few days later, while strolling around his property, he was shocked to spot a dog resembling his deceased pet glancing through the nearby woods. Upon closer inspection, he recognized the familiar collar and realized it was indeed his late dog. Strangely, when he called out to the dog, it remained unaware of his presence, as if it had no memory of its previous life or recognition of its former owner. Could it be that a dog from a whole other world somehow wandered into our reality? Imagine this peculiar scenario, unsettling enough to leave the neighbor feeling uneasy. Many theories sprung forth from this strange occurrence, one suggesting that the dog might have crossed from a parallel dimension, identical in appearance to his own. But as they know, this was just one of the many assumptions. Alongside these theories came a lot of unusual tales, each adding another layer of interest to the mystery. Delving deeper into the secret, Mel found himself holding more questions than he could understand. The passion for the puzzle led him to seek assistance, realizing that he needed someone else's viewpoint to make sense of it all. In 1997, with limited avenues for such discussions, Mel turned to the only place he knew, Coast to Coast AM with Art Bell, a popular podcast broadcast from the vast expanse of the great American Southwest. With its far-reaching audience of 10 million avid listeners across hundreds of stations worldwide, this show was a beacon for those interested in the strange and otherworldly. In Mel's quest for understanding, Art Bell and his audience stood as the best hope for shedding light on the complicated situation at hand. Mel was determined to uncover the mysteries of the mysterious hole he stumbled upon. On a bold day on February 21st, 1997, he decided to reach out to our Art, taking the courageous step to share his experience with the enigmatic hole. In his message, he carefully recounted every detail of his encounter with the hole, from his attempts to measure its depth using 80,000 feet of fishing line, to the strange absence of echoes when he dropped an old refrigerator with his wife into its depths. His message was not a mere note. It was a detailed narrative crafted to arouse interest. Shortly after hitting send, Art called, and within hours, Mel's story had captured the attention of people worldwide. Suddenly pushed into the spotlight, Mel found himself invited to various shows, where he gradually revealed more about the unexplainable event lurking beneath the Earth's surface. Mel's bold move yielded both positive and negative outcomes. On the bright side, he received invaluable advice from individuals across the globe who were interested in his story. Suggestions poured in, ranging from using lasers, to measure the depth to employing radar for further analysis. These insights offered fresh viewpoints, some of which Mel had never considered. However, every silver lining has its own cloud. While Mel garnered widespread attention and feedback, millions became aware of the existence of the mysterious hole, thanks to his radio revelations. This newfound fame came at a cost, raising concerns about the hole's secrecy and prompting questions about its origins and implications. During his show, he would sprinkle hints about where this mysterious hole might be hiding. And just because of this simple gesture, his entire life took a thrilling turn. Hidden beneath the waves of static. A mere day after Mel spilled all the details about the hole on the radio, he returned home to find a surprising obstacle waiting for him. But it wasn't just any obstacle. It was the mighty US military. The government had caught wind of this strange hole and was itching to get a closer look. Helicopters buzzed around his property, adding a dramatic ability to the scene. 
all because of a little radio show. As the days passed, the buzz around the hole only heightened. People, including government officials, were eager to lay their eyes on this mysterious happening. According to Mel, the hole had quite an effect on its surroundings. Animals steered clear of it as if sensing something eerie, while the plants seemed to thrive in its presence. And if that wasn't strange enough, radios acted downright unusual when brought near the mysterious hole. Whenever a radio was brought close to the mysterious hole, it suddenly filled the air with crackling static, like tiny lightning bolts dancing in the atmosphere. Despite attempts to tune it, the radio stubbornly refused to cooperate, as if it had a mind of its own. Occasionally, though, amidst the confusion, it would catch a signal, but it sounded as if it were broadcasting from another realm altogether. Mel couldn't forget the day when he was idly listening to his radio at home. Suddenly, it transported him back in time with its eerie melodies, playing what he could only describe as music from a bygone era. Attempting to switch channels, he found himself unexpectedly turned into a baseball game. Initially, he brushed it off as a curious coincidence, perhaps just the whims of the radio waves. Yet upon closer inspection, Mel realized he wasn't listening to a live game at all. It was a match played decades ago, a memorial from the past echoing through the airwaves. The more he delved into the strange occurrences surrounding the hole, the more confusing it became. Even scientists were baffled by the unexplainable events unfolding in its vicinity, leaving Mel and others pondering the confusing mysteries hidden within its depths. What other things happened because of this hole? Did Mel eventually uncover the secrets hidden within its depths? Before delving into the additional characteristics surrounding the hole, let's rewind to the night when Art and Mel had their conversation. The call stretched on for a good hour, during which Mel poured out his theories about the mysterious aperture and what he believed it symbolized. After bidding farewell to Art, Mel returned home, only to encounter an unexpected obstacle. Military personnel, armed and vigilant, had set up a blockade in his neighborhood. To add to the interest, heavy machinery was being transported onto the scene. Inquiring about the commotion, Mel was informed that the military presence was due to a reported plane crash on the property. However, this explanation didn't quite add up. No one, Mel included, had witnessed any signs of fire or smoke, leaving everyone puzzled and suspicious. Despite being the one who initially shared the news about the mysterious hole on his property, Mel finds himself barred from accessing it until a thorough investigation into the purported crash is conducted. Each time he seeks to speak with the person in authority, a plain-clothed individual intercepts him, suggesting that Mel may no longer have rightful ownership of the land. In a bid to frighten Mel into submission, this individual threatens to plant evidence of a drug laboratory on the property if he refuses to cooperate. Angry at the audacity of this attempt to strip him of his property, Mel responds with a counter threat, vowing to take the matter to the press. Dismissing Mel's threat as mere noise, the man in charge encourages him to do so, confident that nobody would believe his claims. Unknown to the man, Mel has already shared details of the hole with Art Bell and his audience. Several days later, Mel receives a call from Art, seeking an update on the situation. It is during this conversation that Mel revealed information that not only heightens interest, but also instills fear in everyone involved. Mel recounted a captivating tale of a neighbor who claimed to have noticed a mysterious dark beam emerging from the depths of the hole, shooting through the thick blanket of clouds above. However, it's important to clarify that Mel himself wasn't among the eyewitnesses to this particular occurrence. Delving deeper into the myth surrounding the area, renowned broadcaster Art Bell and other interested minds shared captivating insights about the region's history. They pointed out that this particular stretch of Washington state had earned a reputation as a hotspot for UFO sightings, unexplained disappearances, and unusual events that defied rational explanation. Some locals even whispered tales of ghostly illusions and unexplainable occurrences that seemed to oppose the laws of nature. As these reports and rumors circulated, a chorus of voices fitted in with their theories and assumptions, each adding another layer of interest to the mystery. From belief about secret government experiments to whispers of alien visitations, the air was thick with assumption and anxiety. 
fueling imaginations and prompting further speculations and investigations into the unexplainable events unfolding in the area. The government's secret agenda. Some people listening to the show had a theory about the whole. They thought maybe it was positioned on a special line called the Ley Line. According to them, this hole could be a doorway to another world, maybe even to different times. They believed that anything thrown into it disappeared, perhaps gathering in a mysterious heap somewhere else, like a big pile of old stuff in unlucky animals. Another person who called in had a different idea. They thought maybe the hole was like a tunnel leading to the inside of the earth, similar to a subway tunnel. People had all sorts of theories about this mysterious hole, where it went, what it was. But unfortunately, nobody could prove any of these ideas. Thanks to listeners on Art Bell's show, love to share their wild theories and discuss them in great detail. But none of them could offer solid evidence to support their claims. Driven by his curiosity, Art Bell ventured to explore the property firsthand and catch a glimpse of the mysterious hole. However, much like Mel, he found himself unable to reach the exact location of the hole. Undiscouraged in his quest for answers, he resolved to seek insights from the locals dwelling in the area. This decision seemed the most logical course to delve deeper into the secrets surrounding the hole. During his inquiries, an elderly neighbor imparted a fascinating tidbit about the hole's history. According to the neighbor, the vicinity once boasted stone columns encircling the hole, hinting at a past perhaps richer in significance than initially perceived. This revelation sparked interest, suggesting hidden layers waiting to be unraveled. Despite the promising lead, further investigation into the matter yielded no tangible breakthroughs. Nonetheless, when Mel shared his account of the peculiar hole on a radio show, he was met with overwhelming support from a captivated audience all eager to unravel the mystery alongside him. However, others strongly disagreed with his admissions, arguing that it was a terrible decision. Many of these individuals feared that the government might be eavesdropping on their conversations. Interestingly, their concerns were valid, as the government was indeed monitoring the situation closely, and they intervened before Mel even had a chance to return home. As the broadcast concluded, Mel assured his audience that he would provide updates on the situation and any new insights he gained about the whole. Yet when the time came for his promised update, he was noticeably absent. Even attempts to reach him at his home proved useless, as he failed to answer any calls. This sudden disappearance left everyone wondering what could have befallen him in such a short period. Concerned for his safety, the television crew resolved to journey to Ellensburg to uncover the truth behind Mel's disappearance. Upon reaching the designated location, the team found themselves in a state of confusion. The landscape bore no resemblance to what Mel had described. There was no noticeable hole or entry point. Instead, they encountered an odd silence punctuated only by the rustle of the wind through the trees. Amidst the confusion, their eyes fell upon a stock of documents scattered about the area. These were not just any papers. They were detailed military blueprints, maps, and intelligence reports, hinting at a covert military operation in progress. The discovery sent shivers down their spines as they realized the gravity of their situation. As they combed through the collection of information, they uncovered clues pointing to a secret government project. Satellite images hinted at underground installations, and encrypted communications hinted at a high-level operation being conducted in secrecy. It became increasingly noticeable that Mel's involvement in this affair ran deeper than initially assumed. Three years later, when the truth finally surfaced, it was revealed that Mel had been approached by government agents with a lucrative offer, $3 million annually in exchange for leasing his property. However, the terms of the agreement were far from ordinary. Mel was not only required to keep silent about the arrangement, but was also forced to leave the country immediately, never to return. The Mysterious Odyssey of Mel's Return Without any second thoughts, Mel seized the opportunity and moved to Australia to start a new chapter in his life. However, despite agreeing to keep quiet about his departure, he found himself forced to return to his homeland albeit for a genuine reason. When he left, he had to leave his beloved family behind, his wife and children. The idea of leaving them behind forever weighed heavily on his heart, making it unbearable. 
After two years abroad, the ache of missing his family became too serious to ignore. Driven by love and longing, he made the daring decision to sneak back into the States just to reunite with his loved ones. Despite being warned against such recklessness, his devotion to his family outweighed any rational thoughts. During his secret visit, Mel found himself making a rather foolish decision that would have meaningful consequences. While back in the States, he concluded that reaching out to Art was the best course of action. During their conversation, he confided in Art Bell, revealing his intention to share his story on the radio. However, he didn't show up when he was supposed to be on the air, which left everyone wondering what could have possibly happened to him. According to Mel's memory, on the day of his scheduled appearance, he was getting onto a bus to visit his nephew. But then something unexpected occurred while they were on the road, leading to a disagreement that escalated and brought the police to the scene. After the commotion settled down, everyone was questioned, and they had to switch to a different bus. Right at this point, life threw an unexpected twist at Mel. Shortly after boarding the new bus, he suddenly lost consciousness. The next thing he knew, he woke up in San Francisco, bewildered to learn that he had been unconscious for 12 days. But the strangeness didn't end there. Mel found himself in an unfamiliar pathway, missing his wallet and keys. His arm was vibrating with pain, and upon closer inspection, he discovered needle marks and tape residue from an IV. The mystery deepened, leaving Mel and those around him puzzled about what had transpired during those lost days. As he wakes up, slowly piecing together his thoughts and feelings, he tastes blood in his mouth. It's a harsh feeling. Then as he carefully explores his mouth with his tongue, he realizes something shocking. His back teeth are gone. But this discovery is just the beginning of Mel's tumultuous journey. Instead of a steady recovery, his life falls over into confusion. Before he can even introduce himself, he finds himself implicated in legal troubles. Charges pile up against him, accusations of unauthorized construction, tampering with power lines, messing with septic tanks, and altering roads. Mel insists he's innocent. He explains that during the two years he was away from the country, his property fell under government control. Despite this, he loses everything in the ensuing legal battles. As if fate fights against him, just days after he threatens to reveal secrets to his friend Art, his bank account is drained. It's a clear message from unseen forces. Keep silent or face dire consequences. Yet despite the government's efforts to silence him, Mel's story refuses to be buried. Rumors spin and doubters emerge, dismissing it all as a fake. But the truth, though buried under layers of deceit, finds a way to surface, defying attempts to suppress it. Art Bell, a legendary figure renowned for his mastery of spinning tales that captivated audiences, made a bold decision to empower Mel with the spotlight, setting the stage for a gripping saga. However, behind the scenes, the wheels of interest were turning as Art dropped hints about a covert expedition by a television crew into the heart of the mysterious region. Despite their efforts, they returned empty-handed, failing to locate any tangible evidence of the elusive void that Mel claimed to have discovered. Adding to the mystery were reports of unusual military activity in the vicinity, suggesting a deeper, more secret operation at play. The sudden expansion of the no-fly zone over the area only served to heighten suspicions and fuel speculation among both believers and doubters alike. Delving deeper into the historical context, one would find that during that era, access to detailed satellite imagery was limited. The Terra server, a pioneering mapping platform predating the universal Google Earth, provided a glimpse into the unknown with its unusual blacked out sections. This omission on the map not only corroborated Mel's account, but also raised questions about what secrets lay hidden within those hidden boundaries. Despite the mounting evidence in Mel's favor, disagreeing voices emerged, suggesting that he might have resourcefully stumbled upon the blacked out area on the map and composed his story. However, this theory crumbled under attention when considering the timeline. Terra's server had yet to launch at the time of Mel's initial claims, casting doubt on the idea of planned deception. Yet just when it seemed the mystery had reached its conclusion, an unforeseen twist emerged, reshaping the narrative and dropping it into even deeper interest. The Bosque Hole and Its Mysterious Secrets 
A Native American tribe reached out to Mel, inviting him to Nevada. They explained that they needed his help with their study on a mysterious, seemingly endless pit, similar to the one he had talked about seeing. Accompanied by the tribe members, Mel journeyed to the location. Though he didn't venture down, there were extensive discussions involving the Native Americans, the Basque community, and the mysterious hole. They all agreed that things seemed as they should be. However, they needed to confirm that Mel wasn't associated with CNN, the FBI, or the CIA, as these organizations often showed interest in places they weren't supposed to be. Once the trust was established, Mel finally reached the hole and had a first-hand look. At this moment, everyone wondered the same thing. What lay beneath? Unlike the first hole, this one wasn't within the confines of the Indian Reservation. The spot where Mel found the mysterious hole wasn't just any old place. It was on land that belonged to a group called the Bosques. They're a special bunch with roots tracing back to the area between France and Spain. These Bosques people made their way to the United States, settling down in Nevada around the 1800s. Ever since they arrived, they've been using this particular piece of land to look after their sheep. According to the tales they tell, this hole has been sitting there for over two centuries, and they think of it as something sacred. This hole wasn't anything like the one Mel found before. Nope, this one had a strange metal lining around it that seemed to stretch out forever when you looked at it. This hole wasn't just sitting there quietly. Nope, it had this warm energy radiating from it, making the area around it feel all toasty. And get this, when Mel accidentally dropped a tool on that metal lining, there wasn't a peep, no sound at all, just eerie silence. It was as if the metal itself swallowed up any noise or vibration, leaving nothing but stillness in its wake. Mel became very curious when she heard about it, so she and the boss decided to do some experiments with the mysterious hole. First, they lowered a bucket filled with ice down the hole, making sure to keep some ice on the surface for comparison. Surprisingly, when the ice on the surface melted, the ice in the bucket remained intact. And even more surprisingly, it wasn't cold or wet anymore. It felt more like a big piece of salt. Driven by their curiosity, they attempted to melt the ice over a flame. But instead of melting, it caught fire and burned for months. This unexpected behavior puzzled them even more. Captivated, they decided to further explore the whole secrets. After some thought, they decided it was too risky for any of them to descend into the hole. Instead, they agreed to send a sheep down to investigate, concluding that it was safer than risking one of their own lives. The result? They carefully lowered the crate holding the sheep down to about 1,000 feet. But suddenly it stopped. The sheep remained suspended there for around 30 minutes before they brought it back to the surface. Initially, it appeared unharmed, but upon closer inspection, it was found to be lifeless. Upon performing an autopsy, it became apparent that something very strange had occurred. It seemed as if the sheep had been cooked from the inside out. Yet, the most astonishing discovery was a gigantic tumor that filled the sheep's body cavity. What made it even more bizarre was that the tumor turned out to be some sort of fetal seal. This was highly unusual, especially since the seal was connected to the tumor by an umbilical cord and had distinctly human-like eyes. What are your thoughts on the revealed secret of Mel's hole? Let us have your opinions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.